This Daily Dose is brought to you by Pirate.Black. Ah! So you have Wow Nero, Mo Nero, that use pretty much the same technology. And then out of this, this just this beautiful, you know, purple cow out of nowhere came out, which is Pirate Chain. And it's this incredible platform with an anonymity set of over half a million. So you're talking about over half a million decoys per transaction. That is wild, bro. Yeah, um, that's incredible. With, yeah, and you can you can scale up to almost like o- over uh, one point five billion. Wow, and but I, decoys I, I, per do transactions. They have, do they have limited supply? On yeah, they do. Yes, yes, correct. Okay. So they do. Um, Monero has a the the symptom of its limited supply exists, although it has a tail end emission after mm. twenty twenty two, but uh, symptomatically, there is no effect on the uh, on on the um, limited supplyness of Monero. So that's some, there's a lot of fud going that has been going around about Monero and its limited supply. But Monero definitely has. Um, Monero does something that BTC. We're, we're going to talk about those in a second. That BTC is just now starting to deal with. So Monero was the first iteration of a true privacy coin with the crypto note protocol. And Monero is leading the pack uh, in privacy coins because it is the oldest and it is the most peer reviewed. So again, remember what I said, the most important aspect of cryptography and cryptocurrency, especially when when you're talking about privacy coins is the peer reviewed aspect of this, you know, it's the open source, it's a free and open source software ethos, right? The FOSS ethos. That is literally the meritocracy that holds our community together our communities our networks together without that this is n- there's no point of even messing with these technologies if you can't review them for your follow the treasure to pirate.black because financial privacy today is freedom tomorrow ah